When you first open Microsoft Access, this is the screen that you see. Now there's a few important things that we need to do here in the first place. You can see at the top here it says available templates. and There's a few different ones that could be chosen from. Um, we're basically interested in the blank database because we're going to make everything up for ourselves. The next thing we're interested in is what we're going to call our database and where we're going to save it. So this is important because you can't really mess around with this too much afterwards. So I'm going to come in here. You can type your full name in, so first name and surname. And you're going to call this database Blockbusters. And this we're going to make it for Blockbusters. Oops, I could spell. There we go. And before I hit create to actually make it, I need to make sure I'm saving it in the right place. Now on mine, at the moment it's gone onto my C drive. For you, you want to put yours into your home drive. So you should be able to use the search button here. I'm just going to go to my desktop to do this for me. And then choose my desktop and say OK. What you would do is choose your H drive and go into computer studies and go into your databases term one folder and that's where you need to see this little path here should say that before you hit the create button. When you're happy it's going to the right place press create and this is what happens at the moment all it's done is it's opened up a, a totally blank table and there's no data in there at all the table hasn't got a name apart from table one and you can see at the top up here it says Mr Morgan Blockbusters that's the name of my database. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to actually bring my data in. So I'm going to go to external data and there's a little tab there that says Excel. If you remember for your research part of this project you used Excel to put all the data in from the internet about your movies. So I'm going to click on the Excel button and I'm going to find that file. Now I know on mine I've saved it onto the desktop. Yours should be in your folder there's mine Excel data file. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click open. It hasn't done anything apart from it knows where it is now. I've got three choices of how it brings this data in and I'm going to choose this first one which says import the source data into a new table in the current database. So it's going to create a table based upon all the information in my spreadsheet. I'm going to say OK to that. And this little wizard now takes me through it. You can see here on this first one it says first row contains heading columns. So at the moment it thinks that row 1 or record 1 is actually all these headings. That's no good. So if I click here you can see what that's done now is it's replaced that first line and made those the headings. So these will be the fields in my database and it's put all the data in record form underneath that. So I'm going to hit next. Now this step here is basically if we want to modify anything. We're not going to modify anything, but if we decided we wanted the field name to be different or we wanted to change the data type, we could do all these things here. We're not going to. We're just going to say next again. Um, primary key, let access add the primary key. We're going to say yes to that. What that does is it's going to put in a unique number to represent each of these records. So the first one here, the general's daughter, is record number one. ID number one, the second one, Wild Wild West, is ID number two, and so on. This allows access to make sure it can't repeat any numbers, so you can't duplicate anything. Even if you deleted one of these later, it will never repeat that one. So, for instance, Mickey Blue Eyes is number five. If later on we deleted record number five, there will never be an ID number five again. It can only happen once. So, don't change anything. Make sure it says, let access add the primary key, hit next again. All we need to do now is to give a name to our table, and I'm going to call mine videos, because basically these are my video titles. This is my information about all the videos or all my movies. I'm going to call it videos and say finish. Okay, this last one just tells me that it's done. I don't need to save what it's done. I can hit close. And now you'll see over here, I've still got the table one, which is no good. I'm going to close that, and I've got the one called videos. If I open videos now, there's all my data. So it's brought in everything from the spreadsheet. It's created a heading for each one, which is the um, field title or the field name. And then it's put each of the sets of information in as records. So record one is the general's daughter. And if I want to, I can move these around so I can see them a little bit better and arrange them how I want. But later on, we're going to be doing some, some more work with all of these various titles in this table. Okay, that's what you need to do for this task. Good luck.